Today on Wood Turning, we're going to get healthy. We're going to turn broccoli burl. Tim's American Beauty was made by Robust Tools, America's premier lathe manufacturer. Robust. Built to turn wood. Enjoyed for a lifetime. Easy Wood Tools. Best in class carbide wood turning tools. Okay, maybe a lie. <laughs> but I bought a bunch of burl and found a super, super cool piece. It looks like a piece of broccoli. Come on, you can't deny it, right? So we're going to turn this. I'm really not sure what we're going to do, but we're going to turn this. Before we get started, I want to thank our sponsors, Robust Lays and Easywood Tools, because without their sponsorship, we wouldn't be here making these cool videos that you're watching. By the way, I'm also a Robust dealer, so if you're looking for a lathe, give me a call. That's still creepy. I gotta quit doing that. All right. So we've mounted our broccoli burl to the lathe, and I used a spacer on the back because I didn't want to drill too deep of a hole in here because I don't want to go all the way through. I'm also going to use that hole for a double purpose. It's how I'm going to hang this on the wall. Now this thing is so cool in the way it looks right now. Really, I didn't want to do anything to it, but uh, hey, we got to turn something, don't we? <laughs> so we're going to get this going. Ah, I'm going to bring my controller over here just to be on the safe side. I'm going to turn my speed all the way down and we're going to turn this on. I've already swung it a couple times to see if things going to hit. Gets a little close but it's going to be fun. Forward, okay. You know, pick our speed up. Even something this small can be out around and shake a 700 pound lathe. So you just want to take your time building it up. The other thing I want to make sure of is now I can see the center spinning right there. See that little tiny dot? So uh, that's almost solid, right? Well, if I'm using an easy wood tool, I have to be on center. So I do have to stop this because no moving this thing with that turning. I'm going to bring this up a bit more. Double check I'm still good. Turn it on. And now we're on center for making a cut. So I'm going to pick the speed up. Woohoo! That sounds, that sounds interesting. <laughs> and Brian's staying way over there, so that's good. So he's going to come in and just nibble away at the wood for a minute. And we're going to start establishing how far out we can go to the sides. So I've just been gently, gently tickling away the wood. <laughs> and uh, so we're not deep yet or wide there, but we're wide here because this is actually higher. So. I want to leave enough of the broccoli to make it look like broccoli, so I think that's as wide as we're going to go. Now we're going to see how deep we can go. Always a fun thing to do. <laughs> this might take a little while. So I've gone down about an um, inch in depth. <laughs> right now I'm working on the area which is basically called a pucker factor. When you have an interrupted cut like this and you're using any tool, an edge tool or a carbide scraper, you have to be super careful when you make contact in the beginning because it can grab the tool and do things that are not much fun to you. <laughs> so I'm going to stop this for a second and see how I'm doing. Ah, oh, this looks cool. I can probably go about another Mm, half inch deeper. That'll be neat. That's beautiful looking wood. This is red Malay burl. Malay burl. Malay? Malay burl from Australia. I really love it. Thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch. Here's my standard carbide scraper and here is a negative rate carbide scraper. You can see the edge on it. That's gonna take away a bit of that pucker factor because it takes a lighter cut and it's less grabby. So I'm gonna work this down to that last depth I think. It's gonna take a little bit longer. A little more puckering little more turning. Little more. Always a little more. I 
I talk, but I'm holding my breath. <laughs> I'm making just a couple passes with my really large negative rake scraper because the larger profile on it allows me to follow a gentle curve like this and get it really, really, really smooth because sanding this thing's going to be really, really scary. <laughs> See how we're looking. Ooh, dang. I might be, I'm going to start at 240 on this. I'm just going to do one grit. <laughs> okay, it's going to be scary. I'm going to go for the zero RPM sanding. I'm chickening out. <laughs> So we're going to try something here. We're only going to finish the inside because we want to keep the outside as wide as possible. So, <laughs> boom, chaka, chaka. That's pretty cool. I just want to be careful as I come up to the edges that I don't bleed over onto the other part of the burl. Oh, that's working pretty good. I like that. This is so cool. Huh. Who would have thought this weird little piece of burl could turn into something beautiful? Let me finish this up here. Careful, careful, careful. I'll probably do a couple more coats, but uh, that, I <laughs> let that soak in. That is beautiful. There you go. A broccoli burl. Never saw one before in my life until now. <laughs> it's weird, but I love it. So until the next time on Wood Turning, <laughs> keep turning. Tim's American Beauty was made by Robust Tools, America's premier lathe manufacturer. Robust. Built to turn wood, enjoyed for a lifetime. Easy Wood Tools, best in class carbide wood turning tools.